Jason from CNC Labs. Today we replaced the Arduino in your controller. For this operation, you're going to need your controller, the replacement Arduino, a 3mm Allen key, and a 7mm wrench. The first step is to remove any unused connectors on your right side of the control board. Set them aside for now. To get access to the Arduino, you'll need to remove the four nuts and bolts on the connector side. The four nuts and bolts on the other side of the controller. And the four bolts on the top of the controller. Use the wrench and the Allen key to remove them. With the sides of the housing removed and placed to one side, we can focus on removing the control board. Slide the housing to one side to free the connector from the housing, then slide the whole assembly out of the housing. Flip the controller over to access the Arduino. Your Arduino may have been glued to secure it for transportation. Don't worry, you can still remove it quite easily without having to remove the glue. You can now install your new Arduino by placing it onto the pins. Take extra care with the installation to make sure all pins are aligned correctly. The board won't work if it isn't. With the Arduino installed correctly, flip the board over and slide it into the side of the housing. You may have to tug on one side for the end to clear the connector. Push the power connector through the housing. Now you're ready to install the hardware. Use the long bolts and screw in through the top. Attach the sides with the small bolts and nuts. And finally, install all the connectors that you set aside earlier.
This now completes the repair.